naman sobrang love ko talaga yung happy skin before pero ngayon i think i might have a new favorite is yen ko I did not expect this because when I initially tried them, medyo hindi ko sila nagustuhan. But they've done a lot of rebranding, relaunching, and now this is my full face of Issy and Co. Starting off with the brows, I have three products here. First, let's begin with the brow fixing gel. I have this in clear. And one thing I love about this is the spoolie. It's so tiny and precise. It makes it easier to comb and shape your brows to however you want it to look. From feathery to like very sleek. And it comes in that nice angle, which makes it so much easier to comb and shape your brows to however you want it for like a full feathery look or parang medyo mas sleek and precise you can do that and another thing is the formula of the gel it's also not sticky and gooey because a lot of times that's what i've experienced in other brow gels so it's almost light and thin yung formula niya which makes it look a lot more natural and easy to use. Kasi hindi siya nagugup or nagdidikit dikit yung brows mo when you use it. So, super bilis lang nun. Wala pang 5 seconds. So, maayos na yung pagkakakomb nung, brush, nung brows ko. I haven't plucked my brows. So, makikita nyo may sparse air. May sparse, may mga kalat dyan. Pero later, dun natin matetest out naman yung coverage nung concealer. So, mamaya na yun. Brows muna. So, ayan. What I like to do is just comb it up like this. And this brow fixing gel, okay siya gamitin before and after you fill in your brows. Napansin ko, even with this brow gel, ang dali mag-apply or mag-fill in ng brows afterward with their detailing pen. Because sometimes there are brow gels na nami mess up yung formula, wherein ayaw nung crayon or nung pencil mag-mark sa brows mo. Gets ba? Sorry, hindi ko ma-explain. Pero yung nahihirapan siya ang lumapat dun sa skin mo or para ma-fill in. Kasi yung formula niya parang dumudulas dun yung product. Pero with this one, I find it super easy to use before and after filling it in. Actually, pwede na nga yung, ayan, kinom mo lang eh. Clear lang yan pero super ganda. As in, hindi siya mukhang... Hindi siya mukhang like frozen yung brows mo na hindi nagagalaw. Alam mo yun, very natural lang yung finish niya. Hindi siya super shiny. And yeah, ang dali niyang gamitin. As you can see, nag-dry na siya. Pero kaya mo pa i-manipulate. Kunyari, hindi mo bet yung shape nung nagawa mo. Ayan. Packaging is super simple as well. As you can see, silver lang siya with the brand Isien Co. And like I said, nag-rebrand na nga sila. So old products to since matagal ko na siyang ginagamit. And then yung shade niya is usually nasa sticker lang sa ilalim. Super dali gamitin. And so far, kahit matagal na to sa akin, minsan pag natusobrahan yung titan nung cap, minsan nagbe-break yung plastic, di ba? With the Isien Co. stuff naman, hindi siya nangyayari pa sa akin. So, so far, so good. Unahin na natin gamitin tong brow detailing pen. I like this as well. Meron siya nung pen sa isang end, which is super precise and ang thin niya, as you can see. Very perfect to mimic like natural brow hair. And then the other side is a spoolie. Okay naman yung spoolie niya, very soft, hindi, hindi siya masakit pag tumatama sa skin nyo. A lot of times when it's a more affordable or a lower cost product, medyo masakit yung spoolie na kasama niya. With this one, nagagamit ko yung spoolie niya, in fairness. So with the shade naman, I got it in ash brown. Pero what I've noticed sa mga brow products niya, even if it's ash brown, medyo mas leaning toward a warmer shade yung kulay to what I want. Hindi naman siya masama, pero warmer nga lang siya. And so, usually when I use a detailing pen like this, I start at the bottom and then I flick it upwards lang. Again, to mimic yung natural brow hair. Tapos, I fill in lang yung sparse areas. Kunyari, dito yung, ayan, ito. Dito yung medyo kalbo na part. So, dyan ako magsastart. Tapos, i-flick ko lang na ganun. Kaya yung detailing pen is not something I would recommend kung lagi on the go kayo. And you just want to get out of the door. Kasi pag nagmamadali ako, hindi ko itong magawa ng maayos. Ang sabog niya tignan. Or maybe that's just me. Hindi lang humagaling. Pero ito yung ginagamit ko usually pag special locations na talagang may nakalaan ako na time to get ready. Then I also make sure na na-fill in ko yung dito sa main nose. Kalain ng nose. Kasi usually dapat pala dyan start yung brows. And as you can see, 
medyo kalbo yung part na yan. Ngayon din, hindi na super uso yung super filled in ng brows. So, hinahayaan ko siyang may, hindi naman sparse areas, but yung kita mo pa rin na may onti siyang space para kita mo kung saan tumutubo yung hair. Parang mas okay pala yung look na ganun. Dati kasi talagang full on brows ako. Mas natural looking, pero very sharp pa rin. Ayan. Minsan na, pag nasa, na first rate ako, talagang nilalagyan ko na lang. Kung mahilig kayo dun sa ano, K-Palette, brow pen na parang ganito, this is a very, very good dupe, guys. Kasi, ang nipis niya, so, mas hindi ka magkakamali when filling in your brows. And, like I said, madali siyang gamitin, pero, with a product like this, I like it better when I'm taking my time to apply it. So, as you can see, medyo, kahit ash brown siya, may warmth talaga siya eh. Diba? Hindi siya yung super cool tone. So, kapag walang color yung hair ko, when I'm wearing my natural black hair, mapula talaga yung look niya for me. So, ewan ko kung ako yung may problema o yung kulay talaga niya. Sobrang mas warm siya than what I want. And then, the next brow product is yung Brow Pencil Trio. So, this one naman, meron siyang parang precise na tip right here. And then, yung kabila niyang dulo is for filling it in. Ayan, yung parang triangular na shape. And then, it also comes with a spoolie. In fairness, diba, nalagay niya lahat sa isang pen. So, how I would like to use this is yung precise, dito ko yan nilalagay sa medyo git ng part and sa mga sparse areas din, yung mga maliliit na sparse areas. And then, yung mas fuller tip, which is itong triangle, mas dito siya sa dulo. Kasi, when I fill in my brows, gusto ko yung medyo harap, para mas mukha siya natural, diba? Medyo sparse yung harap, tapos yung medyo sa tail end, yun yung full talaga. So, let's start off with this. Again, this is in the shade Ash Brown, pero for me, medyo warm talaga siya. And with this one, hindi siya super creamy. So, hindi rin siya mabilis maubos. Yun nga lang, kung nagbamadali ka, eh, huwag kang magmadali. Delay is life. Take your time. Tapos, hindi. Kaya naman, kaya naman to ng, ano, nagbamadali ka. It's just that for me talaga, pag kilay, I take my time. Ang weird ba? Magkaiba yung magiging itsura ng kilay ko kasi iba yung pagkaka-fill in niya. Ayan. So, lagi ako nag apply sa may gitna din. And if nagmukha siyang medyo parang kinulayan or crayony, I just go in with the spoolie to like help distribute the product. Tapos mas maganda na yung lapat niya sa skin ko or sa brows ko. Um, so, ayan yung precise. Sa gitna ko siya nilalagay usually. Tapos ito. Ito siya sa tail end. So, sometimes I like to extend my brow medyo dito. Hindi naman ganyan. OA naman yung haba. Dito lang. Parang. Pero diba? There's something off with the shade. I'm not really sure what it is. Pero isang brand lang yung for me, nakakakuha ng perfect shade ng brow products, and that's yung mga benefit brow products. For some reason, iba talaga siya. But this one is, honestly, it's not bad pag nakomplete mo na yung makeup look mo. It's just that, since, kunyari, nasanay ka na perfect yung shade mo ng brow product na ginagamit mo, dun mo mapapansin na parang, ay, medyo off siya. But again, for the price point, not terrible. And then, minsan, ayan, pag, kunyari, eto, diba, parang ang crayony, ang daming nalagay. I just go back in with the spoolie to help distribute the product. Yun yung problem ko when it comes to brow pencils na hindi tama yung formula for me. Either medyo dry or too creamy siya. Ganyan yung nangyayari. So, sa ta tatlong brow products na tinry ko from Izzy Co, ito yung hindi ko bibilhin kasi I've tried other brow pencils that are better so I wouldn't waste my money on it. Like I said, hindi ko lang talaga gusto yung formula niya. I have a hard time using it because in between siya eh. In between siya in a bad way na hindi ako sure sobrang dry niya ba kaya hindi ko siya malagay ng maayos sa brows ko. Or tapos pag diniinan ko naman, sobrang nagta-transfer yung product sa brows ko. Or nag-dry na lang yung pencil. But that's too fast para mag-dry siya. Kasi kakabukas ko lang to, I think, in the last 6 months, yung brow products ko lang siya, ngayon ko lang siya na-try. And yun din yung isa pang napansin ko, some local brands, ang bilis ng shelf life ng products nila. So parang kapag bumili ka ng product na to, kailangan ito lang yung ginagamit mo for... How many months kasi kung na iwan siya sa makeup 
hit more sa vanity na matagal mong hindi ginagamit at hindi mo naubos agad. Baka mag-dry lang. Sayang. Ayan. Si mas maganda yung brows dito, di ba? In fairness naman. And like I said, even if it's already filled in, itong brow fixing gel, okay pa rin siya gamitin. Ayan. Actually, hindi ko na siya kailangan ganunin kasi I find that itong brow fixing gel, it lasts me throughout the whole day, ha? Even if may onting pawis, ganyan. Hindi siya basta-basta nawawala. Even if ang light lang nung effect niya sa brows ko, hindi siya mukhang super stiff na may sheen. Okay, so since we're using a skin tint, I like to begin with or to start off with the concealer first. Kasi ito yung ginagamit ko to spot correct any blemishes that I have on my face as well as like my under eyes, ganyan. And then I go over it with a skin tint. Kasi yung skin tint medyo light lang yung coverage niya. And pag pinatong ko yung, ewan ko, basta mas gusto ko lang nauuna yung concealer kapag skin tint lang or anything sheer coverage yung gamit ko. So, I'm using the Active Concealer in the shade OT4. Actually, dahil wala, nung bumili ako nito, wala, wala pa silang physical store nun. Nahirapan ako. I think second shade ko na ito. Dahil yung una, masyado siyang light for me. And sobrang brightening naman siya. Tapos hindi ko siya magamit for blemishes. And I find this concealer perfect for concealing blemishes all over your face. Kasi yung coverage niya, it's medium to full. And it's very buildable. Hindi siya nagiging cakey. And when I use it under my eyes, hindi rin siya nagkikrease throughout the end of the day. As you can hear, medyo gustong gusto ko talaga yung concealer na to. Price point is good as well when it comes to the variety of shades that you get. I really do think that a lot of Izzy & Co. products, you get the value for your money. And with this concealer, okay siyang i-blend using just your ring finger, which is my basis for concealers that I like. Kasi minsan, in a pinch ka, and you really can't use a tool anymore. Kailangan blendable siya with just your fingers, especially when traveling, di ba? Like I said, ito yung mga products na to ang nilalagay ko sa on-the-go kit ko kasi ang dali niya talagang gamitin. Talagang no tools needed, easy to blend, easy to use. Ang ganda pa ng longevity niya as it wears throughout the day. So, itong side na to, ibiblend ko just using my ring finger just to prove a point to you guys na kapag you're starting out with makeup pa lang. You don't need, you know, grand tools or you don't have yung mga different tools yet. And I know a lot of people na yung mga for everyday makeup use lang talaga. They like to use their fingers to blend face products out. And with this one, ang bilis, di ba? Na-blend na siya. So, hindi siya patchy looking. In fairness to this talaga. Even if maganda na siya with the, just a finger... You can always use a brush to blend it out. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes. Itong from It Cosmetics. It's just a flat top concealer brush. And then the foundation brush on the other end. Ito din yung ginagamit ko when I blend out my skin tint. Pero mamaya na yun. Diba? Ang perfect ng shade niya. Parang wala akong concealer. Even on my under eye area, na-conceal niya lang yung circle. Yung bags ko. Pero hindi masyadong, hindi masyadong halata na may makeup. Isa yun ko has really stepped up in the last few years. Talagang when they release something, I don't think na kapag try na ako ng product nila na multiple times ni re-release. Cause I've tried a lot of products from other brands ha, na wala pang isang taon ni re-release na nila. Iba lang yung packaging, tas ni reformulate daw nila, ganyan. With this one, I think na try ko yung unang wave nila, which was when they initially launched, and ang layo na nung nire-launch nire nila ito with their new products. So, na-concealer ko na yung buong mukha ko. And this is what I want to show you guys. Kasi pag tamad ako mag-pluck ng brows, usually, kinu-concealer ko na lang siya. Ayan. So, I'm just grabbing a concealer brush, tapos, kinukuha ko lang yung tira-tira sa gilid. And then, that's what I use to kind of conceal a little bit of these stray hairs. Honestly, hindi siya completely makocover kasi hello, okay naman. Pero, mabiblur out lang siya para hindi naman super messy nung look ko, di ba? Na, ang dami kong stray hair dyan. And usually, it helps then to conceal yung area na to. To highlight, ganyan. To really shape yung brows nyo. So, that's usually what I do. Ayan, or like, yung ilaline ko yan, ganyan. Kasi most of the time, hindi pantay yung brows ko. So, this is the way, this is what I do para medyo magmukhang asymmetrical siya. 
Ayan. Just blend it out. Prior to applying this concealer, wala akong ginamit na primer or anything. I just had toner and essence on my face. Wala din yung moisturizer or anything. And for some reason, ang ganda pa rin nung lapat nung makeup sa skin ko. Which is a plus for me. Talagang kasi minsan pag everyday products, wala ka nang panahon mag-apply ng kung ano-ano pa sa face mo, ba? So, this is really great. And then, of course, the active skin tint. This has SPF. And I, if I remember correctly, I think the owner, basta someone commented on my past video nung tinry ko yung unang release nila. And I think one of the main ingredients niya nga yung sunscreen. So, honestly, pag makulimlim or overcast naman outside, I don't apply sunscreen na underneath it. I just go with this. Tapos setting spray na lang ako na may sunscreen. Pero kung tirik yung sun, like summer, ganyan, I do apply sunscreen underneath kasi important pa rin yun. But for this one, for today, ito lang yung i-apply natin to show you guys kung gaano kaganda. Again, I have the shade Honey. In fairness, magaling yung shade match ng mga face pro or base products ni Issy and Co. So, usually I just apply it on its own or I sometimes mix it in with the True Flex Illuminator if I want a little bit of glow without any glitter. So, on one side, gagamitin ko siya with just the skin tint and on the other, ihahalo ko yung True Flex Illuminator para makita nyo. So, again, with this one, kayang-kaya mo siyang i-apply or i-blend out just your ring finger. Talagang pang-tamad. Pwedeng-pwede siya. Or pang-busy. Sige, wag pang-tamad. Pang-busy and wala kang time mag gumamit ng tools, ng full face, ganyan. And since inuna ko nga yung concealer, Sobrang minimal na lang to. Talagang sa cheek area ko na lang, ganyan. Yung sa under eye area ko. Which I think helps it look way more natural. And yung parang, parang bang no makeup makeup look, ito talaga yon So I really apply it para lang magpantay yung skin ko. Again, mas mukha siyang smooth and put together. A little bit on the nose. You don't have to put a lot on your nose. Kasi minsan nakakasira pa ng look yun, nagkaklog yung pores mo sa may nose area. But with this one, di ko naman siya na-feel kasi wala nga ako masyadong ina-apply underneath this. Talagang toner, essence, and then ito na. In fairness, gustong-gusto naman ng skin ko yun. A little bit more. Tapos yung mga areas na may, ayan, may veins ako, may scarring, dun ko talaga binibuild yung product. Kasi dun ko siya kailangan ng coverage. Ganda siya. So usually, pag nilalagay ko siya sa back ng hand ko, I just put in a little bit of this True Flex Illuminator in the shade Flare. Tapos hinahalo ko na lang siya dyan. And then I'm gonna show you guys kung anong itsura niya using a flat top brush. You can also use a sponge with this. But with skin tint and sheer coverage foundations, Ayokong nag-gumagamit ng sponge kasi talagang next to nothing na yung coverage niya. And the reason why gumagamit ako ng foundation is gusto ko nga ng onting coverage, ba? Pero kung kayo, mas gusto niyo yung mas manipis pa, I do recommend the sponge. Ako kasi gust medyo gusto ko naman tong may onting coverage. si may onting sheen siya here compared to this side. So kung gusto niyo ng may onting ganun, actually, when I use these products, hindi na ako nag-highlighter most of the time. Kasi, mukha na akong glazed donut. Oh. Pack. Kitang kita yung difference, ba? Nung may illuminator, tas ito, wala. Medyo flat lang siya. So that's why I prefer it na may illuminator. Especially since yung skin type ko is dry to normal. So yun, that is our base. We're gonna set yung under eye area ko. And wala ako nung loose powder nila na hindi radiant finish. And I'll talk about that later. So I'm just gonna use their Pink Flex Powder Foundation in the shade Hazel. And I like to use a tapered brush to apply this on my under eye area just to set yung concealer. Usually, yun muna yung nilalagyan ko talaga. Tapos, since we'll be using like cream products all over our face for the other items or the other stuff, hindi ko siya sineset ng powder muna. So, usually yan lang. Tapos, yung sa may brows din kasi nag-concealer tayo dyan. Favorite ko tong powder foundation but we'll talk about it later when I apply it at, on the rest of my face. But now, let's go into bronzer and blush. So I have their cream cheek bronzer. Again, with the silver packaging. I won't talk too much about the packaging because they're rebrand yata sila ngayon. But I love the fact that they may mirror. Even yung loose powder mamaya may mirror siya, Which is great because sometimes, you know, when you're on a pinch, minsan nakakalimutan ako magdala ng mirror. So even if it's tiny, meron siya. Ayan, di ko pa tinatanggal yung parang sticker niya. Anyway, this is their cream bronzer in the shade Torrid. 
And I like this because yung shade niya is a bronzer shade na for me. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-contour underneath this. And I like applying this product using an angled flat top brush. It's a very creamy formula. Kapag fingers ko lang ginamit ko or a sponge, again, medyo super sheer na siya. And I'm someone who likes a very bronzed and contoured look. When it comes to like cream bronzers or cream contour, I like applying it with a brush. Kasi dun ko nakukuha yung chiseled look na gusto ko. Of course, i-blend yun lang yan. It takes a little bit, especially pag masyadong madami yung nalagay ko dito sa brush. But, it's gonna look super nice after I powder the rest of my face naman. Sa may forehead ko, I don't really apply much anymore. Kasi mas gusto ko yung sa may cheekbones. Ay, para akong sinapak. Minsan talaga, ganyan ako. Na-over-apply ko sa may cheeks. Kasi super gusto ko ng mga chiseled look na ganun. So, control lang natin yun is, ha? O, oh, ika. Usually, kapag na-over-apply, that's where I use a sponge. Blend it out a little bit. And another thing is, medyo densely packed tong brush na to. Kaya, super pigmented talaga nung product sa face ko. If gusto mo ng mas natural look, go for a yung medyo fluffy na brush. Mas hindi siya ganito ka. Pack. And I had to adjust the camera settings kasi medyo madilim dito, making like the contour super pangit. I have a smaller version of that densely packed angled brush. I got this sa uh, was it Shopee or Lazada? I forget. Pero one of those I think it's OVA Cosmetics or brushes, whatever. And dupe siya nung Rare Beauty. <laughs> Super cheap lang. Para mga 300 pesos lang yata. Tapos dalawang brushes na yung nabili ko. Ayan. Kapag nasobrahan, kayo nang lagay. Just brush off the excess. Para hindi matulad sa parang sinapak ko na pisngi. But as you can see, oh, ba mas okay yung sa nose. Bakit ganun sa... Like sa mirror ko, hindi ganyan ka dark yung pagka-bronze. Ewan ko bakit sa camera parang okay yung applica application ko. Anyway... Let's go with the blush naman. So like I said, pagdating naman sa blush, mas gusto ko yung medyo sheer. And I have this in the shade Stripped, which is a warm biscuit tan shade. So we're gonna apply this naman with my ring finger. Yan. Ito yung okay na shade kapag gusto mo yung blush mo parang bronzer lang. It's a very morena friendly color. And this is what I like to apply for everyday lang. Yung parang hindi naman ako mukhang kinikilig all the time. Nice, light blush lang siya. Again, with the blush, I like applying it with the finger. Kasi, I feel like it really warms up the product. Tapos, mas nade-diffuse niya and mas nagmumukhang natural siya sa face mo. So, with their cream products, as you can see, it's a very natural look. And you can manipulate how it looks depending on what tool you're using. So, for, if you want something that's more precise, must pigmented, go for a densely packed brush. But if you're looking for something that's more natural, ganyan, go for a loosely packed brush or even your fingers will do a good job with these products. So again, pagdating sa isin ko, I think kapag ginawa ko yung challenge na no brush or no tools challenge, gagana siya sa isin ko. Except sa powder, syempre. So with the powder foundation, I got this in the shade Hazel and I love the packaging of this one. As in, dun talaga ako na in love in this, with this product. Tapos may brush na nakasama. Hindi ko lang pa nalilinisan yung brush na to. So when I use this now, may brush streaks siya. Pero nung freshness pa to, nagagamit ko siya to apply the powder foundation all over my face. Okay siya pag nasa bag mo lang kasi it's very slim and compact. Tapos like I said, may brush na siya. And of course, a big mirror. So perfect. So since gamit ko nga a skin tint or anything na sheer coverage foundation, I like to use a powder foundation on top of it, really smoothing everything out. And usually, dito lang yan sa may cheek area ko, kasi ayoko naman na ito ilagay all over. Feeling ko magiging cakey na siya afterward, kasi sobrang grabe na yung coverage. So, ayan, dito lang. Just to, you know, set the chin area. Tapos, on the here sa may kung saan ako naglagay ng bronzer. And then we have their loose powder. So yung loose powder na nabili ko is the Radiant Finish which has a little bit of glitter specks on it. So nagkamali na naman ako. Anyway, again, sinasabi ko sa inyo, lagi silang may pa-mirror. So that's what I love about the packaging. And then hindi rin to nagiging messy kasi may cover pati yung pinaka loose powder niya dyan. So you have to open it talaga. And even if yung price point nila is low, Compared to the other brands na nasa same price point na yon, mukhang pinag-isipin yung mga 
packaging nila, ganyan, and even the formula. And again, okay, so for the loose powder, since it is the radiant finish, this is what I like to apply. Dito lang, sa forehead ko. Yun yan. Tapos sa may cheekbones na din. Para lang may onting shine. Not shine, glow. Radiance. Ayan, so I don't use this to set my under eye area kasi nga may little specks of glitter siya since it is the radiant finish. So, hindi ko gusto yun sa under eye area ko. And then last but not the least, if there's anything that I would recommend sa lahat ng isin ko na pinakita ko sa inyo today, is their Photo Complex Mist. As you can see, paubos na siya. And I wish binili ko yung full size kasi I think travel size lang to. One of my favorite local setting sprays kasi if you're someone who has normal to dry skin, this just helps the makeup look like it's with your skin. Hindi siya sitting on top. Tapos may onting-onting radiant glow din siya. Also, yung mist niya is really nice. It's very fine. Tapos hindi talagang sumasabog siya all over my face. In a good way, ha? Hindi siya yung parang isang spot lang yung nakakover. So, when I do this, talagang covered yan na yung buong face ko. It's just that may onti siyang scent. So, if you're not someone who likes strong scents or strong fragrance, wag yung bilhin to kasi meron siyang onting ganun. But overall, I really like how it sets my makeup. Talagang na-melt niya yung makeup on your skin and nagmumukhang your skin but better lang yung face mo. So, yun. Okay, so overall, that is Izzy & Co. Super easy to use products that's great for every day as well as for travel. Nagamit ko na to when I was traveling and it was so easy because, alam mo, pag on the go ka and you're in a different place, gusto mo na lang lumabas ng dormo and be done and mukha ka ng tao, diba? So, ito yung perfect na products na naisip ko for that. Kasi, like I said, it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to get ready whenever I'm using these products outside of the brows lang. Kasi sa brows, medyo tumatawin tagal talaga ako dun eh when I'm fitting it in. Pero, overall, sa face products, sobrang dali niya lang gamitin and maayos naman yung itsura niya and at the end of the day, hindi siya humuhulas. One thing I love about this is even if yung look niya is very sheer coverage, very nat, tumatagal siya throughout the end of the day with just these. Wala pa akong gamit na primer niyan or any long-lasting setting spray and okay na siya. So, in terms of Izzy Co. as a brand, I love the fact that whenever they release something, it's really thoughtful na talagang pinag-isipan. From packaging to the formulation to the longevity of the product, talagang nandun siya. And it all comes down to a point na lang kung either of yung shade nyo, like sa akin, yung sa brow products. Maganda yung brow products, maganda yung formula niya, especially the detailing pen, pero off yung shade sa akin. So, siguro like yung shade range na lang in terms of the smaller products, pwede pang maging better. But yung sa base products niya, ang galing kasi it's really up to par with a lot of the foreign brands that I've personally tried. It's come a very long way from their initial launch. Naalala ko yung skin tint pa nila noon, parang medyo off yung shade sa akin, tapos hindi pa siya, wala pa siya sa shade range niya ngayon. And even the formulation, the ingredients that they use, may mga skincare ingredients sa sila ngayon. And what's good about it is, even with those additional shade ranges and skincare ingredients, they kept their price points at a very mid price point. I say mid kasi hindi siya, I mean, you know, it's very subjective kung ano yung low price point sa atin. But when it comes to Isien Co, yung price point niya for what you're getting, you really are getting the value for your money. Kaya pag limited yung budget mo and pero you still want to look nice, this is our brand I really would recommend kasi it will up your makeup game because maganda nga yung formulation niya without having to break your bank. So I'll put links to everything in the description box. Yung mga shades na ginamit ko, everything will be in the description box. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I'll answer it if I know the answer or if not. Kasi last time na nagpost ako ng video, nag-comment yung I think owner ng, ng Isien Co. And in-explain niya yung skin tint nila before. So malay mo, mapanood ulit to and mag-comment siya kung may questions kayo about their formulation. So yeah, really enjoyed Isien Co. I can't wait to try their eyeshadows, yung mga powder products that they've recently launched. So, pag sa trip ko na naman sa Philippines, mukhang mapapabili na naman ako ng makeup. So, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And please do subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!